Hello there, my name is John, and I'm going to teach you today how to make a simple stem and leaf plot for organizing your statistical data in a more, more organized and easy to read method. Now before we can start organizing the data, we are going to need some data to organize, so let's put some data up on the screen now. Now this data is not in numerical order at all, it's pretty jumbled up, and it's going to be kind of hard to effectively put on the stem and leaf plot like this, so let's put it in numerical order from least to greatest. There we go, now that we have that in order, let's actually draw the stem and leaf graph. Now it's a pretty simple design, you just have to do a T-shape. Um, I have on the screen labeled which side is the stem and which side is the leaf, which is what gives the graph its name. Now looking back at the data, let's take a look at the tens place of each number. Now the first number is in the teens, so it starts with a 1. And our last number in line is in the 60s, so it starts with a 6. So on your stem and leaf graph, you want a number vertically on the left side, 1 to 6. Now let's look at all the numbers in the teens from our data. Now we have a 12, a 15, and a 17. Now the 1s from those numbers, we've already put on the left side of the graph. So now we take the 2, the 5, and the 7 and put it on the right side of the graph. Next we do the same thing with the 20s. Now we have a 20, a 28, and a 29. So you take the 0, the 8, and the 9 and put that on the left side in the 20s column like so. Now in the 30s we run into something different here. We have a repeat number. We have two number 31s. So in that case it's very simple. You just write 1 twice next to the 30s column. Now we have an issue with the 40s. We don't have any pieces of data that fall between the numbers of 40 and 49. So what do we do? Well the answer is nothing. We just leave the 40s column blank. We have no data for the 40s so why record it? We'll skip over to the 50s and 60s now. It's pretty much the same deal for the 50s. Just take the 1 and the 4, put it to the left of the 50s. And for the 60s, just take the 62 and the 66, take that 2 and 6, put it to the left of the 60s column. Now, what if we have more than one set of data? Say if we had two sets of data, what do we do now? Well, you just do pretty much the same thing, only one piece of data you put to the right of the tens column, like this. So now, you'll have one set of data to your left, one set of data to your right, and then you'll have the numbers 1 through 6 labeled down the middle. And lastly, make sure you have a title on top of your graphs to make sure you know what this graph is recording. Um, teachers will usually take off points for a missing title. Also, make sure you put a key at the bottom. Well, I hope this was an informative video. Thank you for watching Vaguely Educational Productions. Thank you for vaguely watching.